Okay, so welcome to one more episode of toothbrush repairs. Uh, yeah, somehow <laughs> slowly I need to rename my channel into the toothbrush repair channel, but maybe it will change. Um, for now, I would like to speak about the uh, Brown uh, or Oral B uh, series uh, brushes, professional care, and um, yeah, let's their their main 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 defects that I found. I just got a very good uh, eBay auction uh, where where I won like 20 of these brushes for a fairly small price and uh, with various defects so I can talk a little bit about it. Okay, so first of all how to open it. Um, and here I have the, my main uh, complaint about these brushes that uh, they are uh, they're not very difficult to open it. Uh, you just uh, what I found is the best method is uh, you take pliers, some some protection, and press strongly on on the sides. This opens up a small gap, and then you just take a screwdriver and add slightly, insert it on both sides, twist it a little bit and the cap pops up and here is my biggest complaint with this one it went quite okay but usually what you get is you damage this little hook so when you will reassemble it, it you will have a small gap uh, afterwards I believe uh, Brown used a softer material on this cap as the housing itself, and that's um, yeah main thing. What I would say, I would complain about it. Um, uh, then to remove this ring, you could add it into warm water uh, to make it a little bit softer and try to pry it off. But what I found the best method is just to press it down firmly and it jumps out and what I tried I never uh, damaged this rubber casing so and then this you can remove easily by uh, remove it with a simple screwdriver okay so far for the taking it apart then what I found the main defects and what I want to show you. So the easiest ones are uh, when uh, they are broken uh, solder points. With this one we have, uh, I doubt that it will be seen, but in here we have uh, just a charging wire, uh, charging coil uh, wire that is uh, broke off of the place. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe some kind of vibrations or, or it was dropped uh, a lot of times, so don't know what happened, but one interesting thing that when I first checked it, I thought that it's only the strongly discharged battery, uh, but this is again another thing that uh, I believe Brown has a trickle charging system, so if you cannot charge it, uh, usually it's a problem somewhere in, in schematics as they really charge from that. But um, yeah, of course, if you your wire is broken, then you will not be able to charge it. Um, but yeah, I charged the battery, uh, tried to turn it on, and it didn't. So what I needed to do was uh, connect this wire, um, just with a, as for testing with a simple pin uh, uh, set, and place it onto the charger. Then it, uh, the light blinked that it's charging and then it started to work so yeah now it needs to charge uh, for longer time but only to prove the concept uh, at first it was not giving any signs of life yes okay this is one of the easier ones when this uh, charging wire is broken another common uh, defect part is this part breaks off so quite a funny defect that brown gets 
uh, yes as well very easy to repair just scratch a little bit this surface add some uh, flux and heat it up with, with a soldering iron and it's good to go so these are the two the most e easiest ones let's add it to the side and then we have a more interesting one in the uh, junior series repair video i got a very interesting uh, comment that uh, it was affecting the fuse uh, that i showed everyone to that needs to be replaced and one uh, uh, one one commenter uh, viewer and hope subscriber of my channel commented that uh, exchange of the fuse will not help uh, because uh, these uh, DC motors are brushed and uh, you will not win anything because the collector of the of the motor is contaminated with carbon and uh, it needs to be cleaned before so for this thing I disassembled one one motor completely to do so you will need um, yeah, depending on your model, you need this to desolder all these points, uh, battery, charging coil, uh, LED, and uh, yeah, when you will remove all those parts, uh, then you will need to remove the plastic uh, with LED uh, wires, one more piece, this one, then you will have the simplest motor in principle. It's not possible to exchange the motor, it's uh, spot welded to the frame and even to try to disassemble it, uh, it's, it's, it looks a pain just to try it. Okay, but yeah, um, what I found is that there are no carbon brushes. It has this uh, metal, metal, uh, metal brushes, very soft ones but um, and yeah and it's not sure if you can see it it even if it's so soft and everything but it still manages to damage collector let's see if you yeah i believe it's on on camera okay so um, and from here we have uh, the next problem that we found very interesting one it's um, If you press the button, not sure if you will hear it, but let's say, let's try. There is a slight high pinch tone as the motor tries to turn, but current uh, current uh, comes up very quickly, and uh, uh, motherboard senses through the uh, through the through the currents current sensor that current is too high, and that's why it kills off the switch. And you don't see any movement, anything. You think that yeah, some bat battery died. And the interesting part is that, in principle, the whole motor is uh, stuck. It doesn't rotate at all. If you try to rotate it here, if you have the normal brushes, they rotate very freely. So my theory is that uh, these soft metal plates build themselves to the collector because yeah i'm not sure why maybe someone holded this uh, part strongly and then pressed uh, multiple times the on button and that's why the high current uh, belted it into the place or not sure how this happens but i saw already a few of these brushes that behave like this that they are completely stuck and in principle what we would need to tear it down and to remove it uh, just yeah clean the, the spot and something like this but um, I tried another method that I would like to suggest to you it's not perfect I would say it uh, requires some some uh, tools as well but um, yeah what I have done I have taken a small sharp chisel it's uh, by, I believe from the tooth repair industry <laughs> and from this side you can see the yellow motor uh, 
maybe now now it doesn't it's not seen uh, that good but in principle you see here this gear uh, plastic gear and beneath it is a motor motor gear that is connected directly to the motor motor shaft so i place this uh, metal chisel onto the metal gear and hammer it with, with a hammer so this is quite a brute force um, let's see if it will work on camera I even damaged it by leave one of the tooths of the of the of the gear here as you can see now it's rotating and let's see the brush is working What I would suggest then, uh, do leave it for a minute or two to run, just to, if it had some kind of a soldered or a, a welded pla plates or, or welded uh, places on the collector that uh, by running it would smooth down a little bit, because I had one interesting case that I hammered it, uh, just turn it on and turn it off, and then again it stopped moving. So I had to uh, hammer it one more time. It was not as hard as, as the first time, but it could be something like this. So yeah, uh, leave it for a minute or two to run through the cycle, and in principle, it's uh, again repaired uh, brush. Okay, um, this is repaired already just by making a video that's nice and yeah then interesting thing is that these brushes have the same uh, fuse as the junior series but for some reason i haven't found any of these uh, fuses to be uh, a defect so i'm still uh, baffled why in junior series these uh, fuses make some such a problem Okay, and then I have a few more interesting defects I can share with you. Uh, in this one, as you see, I already uh, replaced the bigger fuse, as I was suspecting that this fuse was uh, affecting it to me misbehave. But uh, what I did found was um, that yeah, after just uh, shorting the fuse, just to test it, it was not working at all but uh, at some points it was working and just dying slowly as as with as engineer series with this fuse uh, when it was dying so then i thought that maybe a uh, uh, motherboard senses to high current and it's uh, shutting down so i checked the current current sensor or current resistor and it was working fine so these brushes, the current resistor could get bad, and uh, I can measure it for you. <clears throat> Let's put it into the ohms. And uh, in this bad one, we have a uh, four ohms resistance as good. Resistor gives out 0 0.2 ohms. Okay, and with this one, uh, I haven't uh, tried to, uh, uh, to to haven't haven't uh, tried to repair it, but in this one, I believe we have multiple problems. One is the uh, fuse that uh, uh, gets the uh, electricity to the whole board so this small fuse is uh, doesn't uh, give a continuity as this fuse and additionally as I try to short it out with, with uh, pliers but I believe additionally this current sensor is defect as well as it has one kilo ohm value so with this one I would need to 
they replace fuse and uh, current sensor so for for now I haven't done that and yeah these are the most common defects that I found with these brushes in principle they are very reliable uh, mechanics work very well uh, I haven't found any uh, yeah one brush but this uh, from complete other set I got one for the repair it was that had this axle broken so Again, uh, they are not immune to dropping and uh, mechanical damage can occur on these uh, toothbrushes. And for the ending of this video, I uh, have one more of the newer ones. Uh, not sure how they are called, 3000 or something serious, but I uh, just wanted to show you that in principle it's nothing new it's completely the same brush just a facelift on the on the on the housing and that's all even the batteries uh, some some have the knee mh uh, batteries i believe so yeah okay so so much for the update uh, really thanks to the commenter that uh, uh, had his suggestions because of the that uh, he, suge he suspected the carbon brushes of these uh, motors uh, it, it can be if it would be have these carbon brushes it uh, wouldn't uh, uh, have these lock lockups of the motor where you have to mechanically free the gears and then it's a all, all the high current uh, motors have the carbon brushes so it was a very good guess but uh, yeah it inspired me to take it apart and make one more of these videos so hope you found it useful if so thumbs up subscribe please show some love for the channel and yeah hope to see see you all soon till then bye